Put it like that. All right. Now, now we're gonna find a kick. We just click one of these, and then you find wherever your wherever your samples are that you have in your hard drive. Find a bass. Uh, right now, I'm going to bass drum. I'm going to a bouncy. I'm just gonna use this one just because I haven't picked one yet. And then I'm gonna change the key, trigger key to D sharp four. So now I got. Now I know you're wondering, what if I don't wanna play it? What if you don't wanna play it? It's really easy, okay? You just go to the track that you want to um, create a uh, uh, sequencer, step sequencer for. For step sequencer, so I'm highlighting track number three, which is my MIDI track for my drums, and then go up to the toolbar, and there's a little square right here for step sequencer, and you click that. Now it's a little tricky. Now this first row right here is the row that you want to use for your um, snare drum, so you just and you can change it by the fact you can have it as many steps as you want to have it. You can have 16 steps per beat. You can have eight beats, you can have four beats. Um, that's why I don't use it because I'm going six, I'm going I'm going eight bars, which is actually, you know, quite a few beats. Uh, but we can, so let's just go here. Let's just we'll go four bars and we'll go eight steps. Just kind of take it back, make it easy on us, make it easy on you. And there's all kind of little adjustments that you can make here. You can swing it a little bit. And then we'll go into this first row, and this is row number 47. 47 is the actual, um, the actual represents the keypad that you want to trigger, so the note name. So then you just press up or down until you get to what you're looking for. So number 49 on the, on the keyboard is, is, uh, is my snare. Then I'll go to my other row, and I press up, and then... Until I get the other sound that I'm looking for, which is my kick, which is at 51. So now you can play it or you can use a step sequencer. Now we are going to add the snare. And then we'll add the kick. You can add the kick. And then when you press play, see? It's that easy. It and it'll just keep looping. Now all you gotta do is when while you're creating that, it creates a. If you notice right here, it creates a loop for you, and you can put that there. You can move it, and then since it's loop, because you see the edges are cut off like that right there, right? Edges, the corners. I mean, the corners are cut off. And you can just loop it. Yee Personally, I'm just not a fan of the um, sequencer, so I don't use it. But I just wanted to show you how easy it was to use it. And then, you know, you could, again, all you got to do, if that's just four beats, which is one one bar, but you can make it eight. You can make it eight beats, which is two bars. If I, you know, go all the way, all the way down, you can do what you want to do. But I don't really use a step sequencer, so I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna erase this. Just wanted to show you how easy that was. See how easy Sonar is. Now. Right now we have our basic track. I want it to be eight bars, so I'm moving the mouse up here, and I'm going to shadow this. I'm going to drag. I'm going to click my mouse and drag it all the way to the end of the eight bars, and you're going to see a, a shadow there. Um, and then there's another toolbar in here, which is the loop toolbar. And you know, there's one here that says turn the toggle the loop on and off, and then there's another one here that says set loop points in this section. So then all you gotta do is click that. And it'll set your loop points. Press W, and I start. And now we're gonna go. Now I'm gonna go back to my MIDI track where the velocity is, where my drum drum is. I'm gonna turn this off here so I can see the full thing. And we're just gonna try to. We're just gonna work with it until we come up with a drum loop. <laughs> All 
right. So I skipped a little bit because I didn't know that the uh, camera turned off, but that's probably better for you because you just want to learn how to make a beat, make a song. All right. So now we got. Now we got a. Uh, uh, we got a basic drum track. So I've since have added more uh, samples into into Velocity, which is my drum track. I'm still working on drums. We're just going to try to finish them up, just the basic necessity of it. I've got a, a, <clears throat> a hi-hat, close hi-hat in here, and I put I assigned that to F number four. I've got an open rack, open uh, hi-hat here. I assigned it to G sharp number four, and then I've got three toms in here that I assigned to C sharp five, D sharp five, and F sharp five. Okay, so then when I play them, okay, so now I got them close that. <clears throat> I'm gonna rearm this track, and then I press R, which will start me recording, and then I'm gonna add drums. But right now I'm just gonna play with it until I get the drums that I want. <laughs> Don't have to wait you don't have to wait to stop you can if you press R during the middle while it's playing it'll start recording but right now we're just gonna start from the beginning and see what we get But I just press Control Z, Control Z to erase them and try it again. to process quantize and same thing 16 keeps the same setting <laughs> Same thing on that. Highlight it, quantize it, keep it up. You know, now as you, when we go back into mixing and stuff, that's when you can change the timing of it and put it on and off a little bit to make it more uh, less, little less robotic. But right now we're just trying to get the basic gist of our uh, our, our joint right now. So that's how we're doing. It. 